Hello everyone. So today we will start series data structure operations. Under series data structure operations, we will see first modifying elements of series object. That means we will modify the data of a series. We can modify a modify a single element or a set of elements. We have seen how to extract slices those slices can be changed if i assign some value to it you can see here i am taking a series object and using its index i am finding that value and for that value i am changing that value with new data value i can use series object with a start and a stop to find slice and for all the elements in that slice i can change that elements you can use loc or iloc to modify the elements we will see these practically after a while the second thing that we see that we will discuss is head and tail functions using head i can find top rows from the series using tail i can find top rows from the bottom sorry bottom rows from the series so by default it will give 5 5 rows i can give the numbers to find the required number of head or tail values third thing that we will discuss is vectorized operation on series object as you are aware that in numpy we can perform vectorized operations in case of series also i can perform uh, vectorized operations what is vectorized operation a batch operations on a data without writing any for loops that means you will perform the operation and it will perform to all the data elements of that series fourth thing that we will discuss is arithmetic operations on series that means we will add two series we will multiply two series we will subtract and we will divide that two series there are some rules for doing that we will discuss it practically fifth thing that we will see is filtering entries you can perform filtering of series using conditional operator as you can see in the third image i am finding all the values which are greater than 2 in a series so these five things we will discuss today now let us start with our first topic that is modifying elements of series now we will move to practical example this is my python here i will create a series object how to create it i have to import pandas then i will make series object as one with pd dot series i want to create by using dictionary object then i will create using dictionary object s a is 1 b is 2 c is 3 and d is 4 so this is my s1 object if i want to print it i will print it this is my series object a b c and d the value is 1 2 3 and 4 data label is a b c and d so what we have seen 
we will modify a single element by using series object and its index and i will prov provide some new value so first let us see if it gives us value or not s of a what it should give it should give one yes it is giving let us make this one to 11 so what is this series object then index value and new value in the same way as i have written here so now let us run it so it's run let us see the elements yes now a has been modified to 11 all the other elements are same if i want to modify these three elements at once what should i do i have to make i have to find the slice from b to d how to find the slice starting from b and up to d as i told you since this is using data labels all the both the ends will be included b as well as d both will be included see see here b c and d all three are coming if i want to modify it how i will modify i will modify b to d i am giving 55 let us see if it modifies or not yes it has been modified so i can modify a single element as well as a slice you can you can see the note here you can also use loc or ilc to modify the elements now the question for you is to do both the practicals that i have shown you using loc and ilc and send me in dot py file question have a example using loc and iloc both so how many codes will be there two for loc and two for ILOC that means four codes you have to give me fine now let us move to our second slide our second point was head and tail functions head is to find the top most rows by default five let us create another series our s was this let us create another series s2 this was i have written s1 but i have taken it as both the s and s1 are same i will create s2 i will take some more examples more things e f g h so this is my series s2 so if i do s2 dot head it will give me top most five rows if i give s2 dot tail it will give me bottom five rows if i want to find top seven rows then i have to give add seven now it is giving seven rows 
if i want to find two bottom two rows s2 dot tail it will give two so it is giving me two bottom rows so it is very simple head and tail function so we have s and we have s2 we have these two series object now let us move to our third example which is vectorized operation on series object so like numpy array series supports vector operations a batch operations on data without writing any for loop this is usually called vectorization what vectorization is if i want to add one in all the elements of s2 how can i do this i have to make a for loop and find a b c and d and then i have to uh, add one to each data elements then i have to assign it back to series s2 this is very tedious task so series has simplified it by using vectorized operations where i can use vectorized operation to perform any operation and that will be automatically apply to that series so let us see if i want to add one to all the elements i will just do s2 dot 1 what it will do it will add you can see one is added to all the elements fine now you can see s2 i have done s2 dot 1 but s2 has not modified it is similar as before how to modify it i have to assign s2 is equal to s2 plus 1 now if i see s2 now s2 has been modified to assign those value you have to use equal operator to assign a new series value to the old one fine so this is called vectorized operation you can perform any arithmetic operations on series using vectorized operation now let us move to fourth slide which is which is arithmetic operation on series object till now what we have done we have performed arithmetic operation on a single series object if i want to perform operation between two series objects then what then i have to use two series see we have two series s and we have s2 we have these two series i can perform s plus s2 this is a arithmetic operation between two series objects one is s another is s2 so i can perform it by putting any arithmetic operator in between two series so there is one there is rules to perform arithmetic operations what is the rule the operation is performed only on matching indexes indexes or data labels you can see s is having a b c and d indexes and s2 is having a b c d e f g and h indexes so what the operation will be performed on matching indexes the operation between a and a will be performed b of s and b of s2 operation between these two will be performed likewise c and d of s will do the operations with c and d of s2 fine now let us do the arithmetic operation what happens let us see so you can see there was a b c and d in s and there was a b c d e f g and h in s2 so what happened two was added to a so it became 13 so by default when the operation will be performed it the data type will be changed to float why it changed to float because none is coming what is the data type of none is float that is why all the values automatically converted into float if none was not coming then the data type would not have been changed 
to float it would have been int 64 as before because none is coming the data type of none is float that is why it has changed to float now let us move to our important part that is it is performing operation between a b c d of s and a b c d of s2 so 2 is added to 11 3 is added to 55 4 is added to 55 then in d 5 is added to 55 so d became 60 59 58 and 11 plus 2 30 and for other what happened because there was there was no indexes with the name e f g and h in s then it gave me n a n not a number so this is also a rule for all the non matching indexes n a n will be returned that means if the indexes is not matching the n a n will be returned and you can see n a n is in e f g and h so I, I hope it is clear to you now let us move to our another slide that is filtering entries filtering entries means if I have a big series and I have I want to find something from that series by using some conditional operator that all the elements which are greater than two all the elements which is having high in it so you can if the data is in string format you can find it uh, by using some string function that it is there high in between it or not and then you can perform the operation so how you can perform you will give the your condition within the index operator you can see i have a b c d 1 2 3 4 and a 5 this is my series and when i am doing s is greater than 2 so all the elements which are greater than 2 is giving true and all the elements which are less than 2 is giving false less than or equal to 2 will be given as false you can see the b was 2 it is giving false so what happens if i give s and under indexing operator i gave s is greater than 2 then it will return all the values for which the output was true so you can see c d and a was coming here now let us see it practically if i am having s2 series object if i give s2 is greater than 4 so it is giving all the elements which are greater than 4 as true you can see d up to c it was equal to 4 so up to c all a b c are false and from d to h all the elements are greater than 4 that is why it is giving true if this same thing i give in between index operator of s2 then it will what it will print it will print all the elements which is having true for greater than 4 you can see d e f g and h are coming that is because all were true fine so you can perform any kind of operation if i do this with where s2 is greater than or equal to 4 then 4 is also coming so you can perform any kind of operation in operation here and for those operation if the value is true those values will be printed in the output so these are our five slides and you have to do the homework that i have given to you and we will meet in next video if you have any doubt you can ask me in comments so till now this is it for series data structure operations thank you for watching bye